Family Feud. Family Feud. That's what we're talking about this week. Happy Tuesday morning. Good morning, everybody. It's time for Morning Manor. And this week, we're talking about Family Feud. Now, I know many of you probably watched Steve Harvey on Family Feud, and uh, I know I enjoyed it. Uh, rarely miss it in the afternoon. If I have the opportunity after dinner, I just kind of check it out. It's hilarious. It's absolutely hilarious. But you know, real Family Feud, it's not hilarious. It ain't funny, and more often than not, it's quite painful. And so we want to give you some um, ways to deal with the family feud in your family. Uh, but before we do that, just want to greet some people this morning. Happy Tuesday morning. Thankful and grateful that you are here with us. And I always give you the text to talk and the takeaway. And uh, joining the Man of Fam, we always want to know who you are, where you are watching from, if it's your first, second, or third time joining us. And the Man of Fam always wants to shout you out. Now, I'm going to do those things. Why don't I tell you what you're supposed to do? The rules of engagements are this, that you're going to write in the chat area the revelation that you get. Uh, you're going to share, uh, and as well as you're just going to let us know who you are, like I said, and where you are watching from, if it's your first, second, or third time joining us. This week is all about family feud. How do you deal with family feuds? The text, the talk, and the takeaway. Here's the text, Judges 14 and one. Now, before I tell you or read it to you, you already know this is the story of Samson, Samson and Delilah. What we oftentimes jump to is fast forward to Samson and Delilah. We don't get the backstory. You got to get the backstory so you can understand how this family feud is going on. In 14 and 1, Judges 14 and 1, it says this, I saw a Philistine woman in Timonea. I want you to get her for me. This is Samson with arrogance in his voice, tells his parents to go get this woman for him. Now, understand something. Uh, arranged marriages were the order of the day. She's a Philistine. He's a Jewish. He's Israel. He is a child of Hebrew heritage. What in the world does he want a Philistine woman for? The Philistines are the army, are the enemy rather. How is it that he has that? Because he's out of control. He's out of control. And that's what we're talking about right now. Family feud, out of control children. Out of control children. How do I get control of my out of control children? The story is clear. All you got to do is dig deep and we can see what's going on with Samson. The first thing that you do with out of control children is, is really out of control parenting. The parents of Samson had no business obeying what their son was telling them to do. They had no business. Come on, are you kidding me? Just because he wants her? Just because he, he, he has this anointing on his life that he's not even aware of yet? He is rambunctious, he's rebellious, and nobody has brought him under control. And check this out. His parents do not help him at all. So out of control children, look past them and look at the out of control parenting or the absence of parenting. When you look behind the bars of many prisons, you will find the data will tell you that it had a great deal to do with lack of parenting, especially absence of fathers. And this father does not show it. He should have stepped up and said, son, are you out of your mind? You think we're going to get you a woman from the enemy's camp to marry? No way in the world. But they're out of control. Samson's out of control. The second thing is out of control. Children can have a ripple effect to the nation. Look at what happens here. That Samson almost tears up everything there is about Israel. Why? Because he's out of control. He's out of control. Here's the third thing that I really want you to grab is this. Out of control children will affect the community. It will affect the community. Notice how everybody is impacted by the lack of control of first Samson's parents 
and then second, Samson himself. Everybody is subject to what out of control children can cause. We need to understand something. Now, uh, by no means am I suggesting that the systematic racism that we have to deal with does not cause issues within the African-American community. But there is still, at the end of the day, personal responsibility. There's still personal responsibility. And you can see, when children are out of control, the community is out of control. So what do we do about this? Here's your takeaway. Here's your takeaway this morning. Understand this. Let's go to Delilah. Delilah tapped into the seeds that were already planted. She just harvested them, baby. So what does that tell us? In order for you to change everything, parenting is about good gardening and it will deal with family feuds. Parenting is about good gardening and it will mitigate, it will truncate, it will put an end to family feud. The Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you, give you peace. Hey, share this manner, don't keep it to yourself. I'm gonna have more morning manner tomorrow when we d keep dealing with family feuds and we're gonna deal with Jesus' family feud tomorrow morning. God bless you. See you then. Bye now.